This conference will now be recorded. Hello, friends. Welcome back to High Tech Institution YouTube. Uh, uh, okay. So in this playlist, uh, we are uh, purely discussing about AWS job opportunities. Uh, we have successfully completed uh, totally seven videos in this playlist. This is going to be our video eight. And thank you so much for the audience and the subscribers and the other people, the viewers. Uh, you are giving a great response to all my previous seven videos. All of them, right? Uh, they are going to reach minimum uh, 1K on each videos. Okay, I'm very proudly saying uh, thank you. And based on all of your response, right, in past seven videos, everybody interested in wants to know what is the AWS DevOps engineer salary. Okay, because when it comes to salary, it's every every for everyone, right? It will be a great news and a good news actually. And it's it's very important. It's very we are very much eager to know others' salary. By the way, unfortunately, right, every company has a policy. We supposed to not share our salaries each other. So even though we have a close friend circle, very limited people only used to share the salary information with us, not everybody, right? Which is practically happening. Even including me, right? Uh, not only you people who are watching the video, everyone, it's common. It's very curious to know other people's salary. It's, it's human nature, by the way. So that is why I'm not sure. Uh, many of them asked for this video on the same topic. I've really put all my effort to make this video. I want a great support from each and every one of you. Okay, fine. So all the best guys. So let's get started with this video. Uh, so fine, uh, me waiting for the salary to be created, be like, like this is one of the funny meme I used to receive every month, right? Uh, imagine if we have a 30 or 31st, uh, no, 28th or 29th onwards, sometime some company used to credit the salary a couple of days before due to the bank uh, working day or something like that. But anyway, right? So this is the you know one most uh, curious thing, like uh, every month end, uh, every people right uh, used to be like these only so great meme uh, which i really really wanted to share with you which been no uh, mr bean is perfectly suits for this uh, particular meme anyway all right uh, just for making a fun uh, let me get started so common salary grade by the way right what i have done i have categorized as a different grade the people you know who are working in l1 l2 l3 uh, based on that only in this throughout this video series right i'm going to explain that uh, salary structure okay by the way this is almost common to all the people who works in areas azure and devops okay and uh, yeah let's get you know discuss about the salary grade first first one the people uh, one to three years of experience uh, for those category of people right i'm considering as a l1 guys okay and second one the people who falls under four to six years of experience right i'm considering them as a uh, level two okay grade and uh, coming to the another one, uh, level 7 to 10 years of experience, right? I'm considering them as a level 3, okay? So I know that people are expecting, hurry, what's the status of the people who has more than 10 years of experience? For them, I have a data on upcoming slide, all right? So throughout this video, right, I'm going to talk about uh, based on these three levels only, level 1 and level 2 and level 3. This is our major uh, impact based on this grade only, grade 1 and grade 2 and grade 3. This, by the way, right, our salary structure will vary company to company. All right. Fine, guys. For that, I have taken many companies as a reference. Okay. I went into their official site. I have collected some basic information. Okay. I have collected the basic information. I have I've done some research regarding the salary and who are working in my friend circle, right? I have coordinated with them. I verified whether the data, whatever I collected from the internet, whether those are matching or not, because I supposed not convey the, you know, uh, wrong information because many uh, close to 10,000 subscribers are following me and watching this video. I'm I now supposed to know convey the wrong information. That is the reason I even crash verified uh, almost 80%. Right, these are the data whichever I referred from the you know different source and I got it from my friends' reference. Every everything right, uh, close to 80% are similar. So you can assume the data whatever I'm going to show you in all the references. Right, this is going to be a pure 80% uh, uh, valid information only. Okay. So take the consideration almost here two to five years. I mean grade two people, right? I'm taking why because I've skipped the grade one. The reason grade one, most of them are fresher. They are going to be L1. Okay. When it comes to a freshers, when they are starting their career, we cannot expect a big salary uh, as initial, right? So after completing three, four years, we can expect a very good salary based on that consideration, right? I have taken all these references. So, where if you take a, a TCS, right? If you go AWS DevOps engineer salary average, uh, 
two years to five years experience so they are having a pay scale of four lakhs to ten lakhs but average as an average right they are most of the people who are working in tca they are getting 6.3 lakhs per annum that is their ctc by the way okay so tech mahindra when coming to the tech mahindra almost all the references i have taken here which covers two to five years or three to six years of experience minimum they are going with 4.5 lakhs to nine lakhs of salary uh, where on an average right they are planning to give uh 5.9 to 6 lakhs of package as a ctz as a overall okay where if you take wipro right aws devops engineer salary same category 4 lakhs to 9.5 lakhs and 6.1 lakhs as the average this is the reference one similarly when you take the reference to right i would personally feel accenture uh, you know accenture is the company who gives a very very good you know salary where you can see almost 5 lakhs they are giving and up to 15 lakhs right they are ready for the people uh, and average right people who are a part of accenture you can expect 8.3 lakhs of average salary and income for ctc on every month sorry every year uh, and coming to the cts right cognizant over here right people are uh, getting uh, 4.1 lakhs to 10 lakhs of salary by the way okay so in this 10 lakhs of salary uh, what happens is 6.6 um, uh, lakhs is the average okay so coming to the cap germany uh, coming to cap germany right uh, people uh, sorry here my slide you know it's about it hidden so through two to five years of experience people here you are getting 4.6 to 12.5 lakhs of uh, salary as an average right 7.4 lakhs is the average we are coming to the reference three ibm infosys hcl technologies mine tree have taken uh, as overall right even ibm we can see 6.7 lakhs uh, 4 lakhs to 10 lakhs is the average salary and infosys 4.8 to 13 lakhs is the average salary uh, but uh, people are, you know, an average and employee who are part of it, they are getting 8.1. And similarly, HL Technologies falls in the same category. Mind free, there is no much difference. But end of the day, the reference, right, uh, what I understood, it's it's totally vary from company to company. Okay. Totally, it's varying from the company to company. Uh, right, Accenture and uh, Infosys, the people who are belongs to those companies, right, they are getting a very good pay comparing other companies. Okay. That is what I can tell. But again, as I initially I, I conveyed you, there are 80 percentage of you know uh, people uh, getting almost the same uh, salary what we are, are uh, identified from our data source. Anyway, all right. So now I'm going to explain about uh, what is the further average changes and uh, how come it's going to categorize. Not all the employees right will be getting this salary. Okay, there are some changes are there. There are some uh, fine tuning things are there. I'll explain about that in the upcoming slide. But before to, okay, I want to strongly recommend all of you to go and subscribe this channel and like this video. Why? Because I have put lots of my effort only for you people only. Your small like or small encouragement in the comment section, right? That will really, really motivate me. Okay, so I'm expecting uh, you want any upcoming videos also try to put it in the comment section. I'll reply. Please subscribe my channel and like this. And coming to the low and average performance, okay. Coming to the salary structure, I have categorized as a graph, by the way. If where 100% of people are available, 20% of people, right, as per the company's uh, top management, they are feel like they are a low performers. Whatever the KRA, it's been received, whatever the, so it's simple, right. When we are working in a project, there will be one, one guy will be uniquely, you know, uh, displayed. He knows everything in and out in the project. Literally, in fact, I can tell you, if he's putting a paper, if he drop a paper right from the company, people are ready to retain him. Okay. So that, that much potential resource he is. So there is a guy who, you know, remember when you have a, you know, when you have a, a, a project end to end, uh, that there is a client dependency, everything with him and the project dependency, everything with them. So there will be unique guys. If, if you go in any project, there will be one guy similar like that in position. Okay. For that, for that, for that guy, right. We are calling it as a high performer. That guy, we are calling it as a high performer. If you take every project, right, there are 20% of people are high performers. So, our remaining people, right, we are calling it as a low performer. There are 20% of people, some people, they don't not even know why they are coming to office, what they are doing, literally. Always, they will need someone's support to work in a project. You can identify, you can correlate with your current project and, you know, you can correlate who the guy is all about. And middle, you know, average performer. Average performer is not that Low, no low cost not that you uh, know high performer they are surveying in the middle most of the people right falls under this category only average performance and i have shown three different reference right reference one reference two reference three 
all these three things are only for average performance if you are a very good high performance right my next slide is going to talk about what is the really really great salary expectation and what the great salary people are getting when you become high performance in a project all right so reference one you have seen reference two and reference three from these many companies all of them are service based sector by the way all of them are service based sector so when you are working in a service based sector this is the average salary you can expect when you are a low performer or average performer okay again i wanted to consolidate and i summarize what is the uh, discussion we had in past first one the person who has uh, one to three years of experience we will be treating them as a level one okay he is right he is potential to get 1.5 lakhs to 3.5 lakhs of salary again keep in mind i am talking only about low and average performer i am not talked about high performer high performer is coming on upcoming slide okay the person who fall under l1 so that's company to company it will vary when they are recruiting as a fresher still some companies are giving you as a 1.5 lakh salary up to 3.5 lakhs you can expect when you are a low and average performer similarly in category 2 grade 2 4 years to 6 years of experience we have already said you are fall under salary grade 2 you are level 2 by the way your average salary would be 4 lakhs to 8.5 lakhs this is what an, an average people are getting when you work on accenture and uh, uh, infosys kind of company you are getting 8.5 lakhs remaining companies right people are still are paying 4 lakhs only or in between you are getting it okay this is the status of the people number two and coming to the third category okay seven to ten years of experience right the people are nowadays paying 9 lakhs minimum to 16 lakhs up to 16 lakhs right they are capable to get again it depends on the company all right again it depends on the company now what i'm trying to conclude is here so when you guys almost you know what is your salary if you are in right salary okay if you are getting this salary only then you are literally treated like a low performance or average performer in your present project okay what i supposed to do okay what i want to do in in terms of increasing my salary in terms of you know upgrading myself into next level in terms of i uh, wanted to promote okay right now if anybody falls into this category right or reference one reference reference three you are fall under this category so what happens is when you want to become a high performer category right there are two things first of all when we are expecting something hey this salary is not enough to me nine lakhs is not enough to me i'm getting eight lakhs as of now that is not enough to me i have a low lot many dependency so only asking for the salary it's not a right way what we supposed to do okay what we supposed to do first of all we need to upgrade ourselves technically ready for managing all the technical activities in our project we have to make sure our capabilities okay we need to ensure i am a capable person to ask this okay see imagine ask yourself this is the time to ask yourself what are the technology you know how depth you know if you take aws what are the services you are familiarized with if you take devops what are the uh, devops tools you are familiarized with if you take a scripting language how how strong in your scripting okay see, forget about the teamwork as an individual contributor you have to think in that perspective because salary is all about individual so you need to think individually how much depth you can go without anyone's help if there is any problem comes whether will you be able to you know troubleshoot in that case what is your communication level how how much you are capable to handle the customers when you are alone in the shift uh, will you be able to manage the entire project by yourself all those things coming to the picture guys first yourself made it comfortable yourself you are you you have to update your knowledge level your skill set your overall you should be an all-rounder in across all the platform when you upgraded yourself right automatically you will become a high performer in the project okay when you become a high performer right you will never expect companies are ready to pay you whatever the salary you ask very very limited people are available uh, for uh, high performer category okay so it's really uh, important that when you want to become a high performer try to upgrade yourself technically try to uh, learn all the services and devops tools and the scripting automation uh, try to be a, as much as possible into individual contributor but what is the status today even people are going for an interview he, he want to update his resume he is not having self realization to upgrade his profile that is the status as of today he is still seeking someone help or he is asking resume in some other people they are providing the from resume they will copy paste his content that is not your data you are literally copying from others person's data 
that is that is what i'm trying to say still if you are in that category right you you can conclude here you are still in low or average performer only when you are a high performer these are the qualities you should have okay simple thing everything you will do by your own even any new requirement come you will easily able to understand when you wanted to upgrade your career right easily you will upgrade by writing a right training program or write a training opportunity you will upgrade yourself okay you won't tell any excuses this is the reason i am not able to learn that is the reason i am not able to upgrade my skill set think about it last one year what new technologies you have learned by yourself okay recollect everything and as you are a person you will be able to single hand you can handle the entire project you know you know who can corner and end to end in your project entire infrastructure entire security best practices entire monitoring log management strategies cost optimization client handling and change request uh, management uh, performing a change by your own implementing any automation writing a script if you are capable enough to do all these things if you are having all these quality right then you are the high performer when you become a high performer right mostly uh, if you are fall under this category try to focus product based company that is what i am strongly recommending enough okay yeah the whatever the services you have provided in the service based sector the reference one the reference two reference three that is done totally try to focus your uh, knowledge and try to work for a uh, product based company okay that is really give you a good value to your work and knowledge by the way okay now i'll tell you uh, first of all same i have not made any changes okay even though you are a high performer top performer will only came to know after you coming to the industry 4 to 5 years ago only first 3 year whoever coming to that uh, environment they are a learners okay according to the you know uh, general it best practices first 3 years you have to learn whatever we are learning in the college that's that's just for a fun for our you know time pass we are going for a college as elon musk says as of today everything we can learn lot many sources available on in internet okay so many online sessions are there if you are decided to learn we can learn it that's not a case but whatever we have called learned in the college days right those are for time pass but when you are getting into it where you start or learning and upgrading your technology right? that is what your real life learning is starting for your career so i didn't made any changes uh, I, i don't want to conclude first three year i cannot confirm you that you are a high performer or low performer or average performer it's up to the candidates okay now i'm going to give a changes okay uh, you can see the color changes itself you can identify when you are having four to six years of experience if you fall under the level 2 category you can you know expect 9 lakhs to 12 lakhs of salary even you are a four years experience candidate imagine you are a four years experience in it you can expect 10 9 lakhs 10 lakhs of salary immediately okay only thing you have to uh, fulfill all the checklist whatever i conveyed uh, to fall under the high performer companies are ready to pay that is a honest my opinion and coming to the 7 to 10 years of experience candidate if you are if you are fall under 7 to 10 years of experience candidate you can expect 15 lakhs to 25 lakhs of salary you can expect imagine 25 lakhs of salary if you are getting it that's really really great if you ask me hari hari this is what the final what you trying to say not like that when you become 10 plus years of experience people are ready to pay even 40 lakhs 45 lakhs something like that companies are there okay this is 100% true okay i'm not telling you any people are ready to pay only thing you need to upgrade yourself as required you have to be a perfect high performer so when you fall under that category right definitely you can um wants to you know wants to be a high performer definitely you can okay and another small hint i wanted to give you all so when you want to see you are fall under any one of these category are getting this limited salary try to switch over your company when you are switching over to your company right there are two option either your new company will give you a very good hike or your previous company will try to retain you okay end of the day you are getting a proper hike that is a shortcut where you can uh, you know discuss about your uh, uh, increasing your salary and things and stuff all right guys in my next video right uh, so i am planning to make a video on uh, how to talk during the appraisals uh, to get a better salary that is my next action plan second thing what is the reason i am keep on failing in the interview there are two ideas i am having so video 1 or video 2 which one you really wanted to go put that in the comment section based on that i'll refer the data i'll present one more video to you guys and once you get a proper salary after uh, salary credited your mood be like so i've started with one funny meme so i'm ending with one funny meme nothing like that okay thank you guys thanks for your support till now i'm strongly recommending all of you to subscribe my channel share this uh, videos with your friends if you really like this video put one thumbs up
and uh, mention in the comment section that will be really really great help for me okay thank you everyone i'll meet you on my upcoming videos thank you bye bye